Hey guys, it's me, Derek, and welcome to Let's Talk, and this time we're going to not talk about my butt, because I feel as if we talked about my butt so much that there's nothing left to talk about. It's the rear end of that conversation. It was a buttload of content. You can almost say it was asinine. It stunk. Okay, enough butt puns. But anyways, uh, guys, I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update on this week coming up. Uh, last week I had a interview. Interview went really, really well. My only issue is the fact that my license is suspended from where last year, uh, whenever I lost my job, I did. I end up getting pulled over from uh, lo local law enforcement and was not able to pay the ticket. So they suspended my license temporarily until I can pay them two hundred and thirty-two dollars to get that back. So hopefully this week I can get that finished and get that job it's it's a decent job it's for uh it's for rent to own um it's something something good uh, another thing i've been looking into is vehicles i can't get a vehicle until of course i have a job so what i was looking at online there was a few things actually there was a uh, volkswagen uh, beetle and a jetta and something else i think it was a kia soul I, i'm starting to feel claustrophobic if that makes any sense um I, i'm used to driving a whole lot a lot of people knows me especially my fr <laughs> my fiance knows that i love to drive you know we would go somewhere and we'll say hey i want to go to the grocery store and that trip will last an hour because i like to just veer off the path i kind of have adhd when it comes to driving so I can't stay at one specific spot. I'm like, man, I want to go here. I want to go there. I want to go 10 miles down the road. I wonder what that road looks like down there. I wonder, wonder blah, 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 drugs, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I like to drive. I love to drive. That's that's where I'm getting at. Um, but I, I can't wait to get a vehicle again because, you know, of course, I can go up and visit my fiance up in Mansfield. Um, and that will get me closer, uh, to, you know, moving up there because it'd be one less thing I have to worry about. I am filing my taxes this week. Uh, so hoping good stuff comes there. I'm hoping we get the license thing straightened out. Uh, I have a doctor's appointment with my heart doctor tomorrow. So they could tell me if my heart sucks or not, which we already know that it does. Um, I have a follow up again with my surgeon. Uh, that will be on the 31st and on February the 2nd, I find out if I'm going to have diabetes. So um, on the 2nd, you'll find out if I will be the reincarnation of Wolford Brimley um, from the diabetes commercials. That being said, i uh, got a lot of stuff planned out this week. I've applied for a bunch of new jobs. Um, I'm hoping things pan out. I'm looking for something to kind of the work from home, that because where I don't have a car, it's kind of hard to move to get rides from place to place, and I don't want to put that burden on somebody. Um, you know, I'm used to having a vehicle. I've had a vehicle since I was 16, um, and I've only been through two vehicles. I paid them off myself. Uh, first car I ever had was a Pontiac Sunfire, and then I bought a brand new off the lot a 2007 Hyundai Accent. Uh, back in 2006 and um you know I, I let it do its thing i've had it for about 11 years give or take and the things last quite a long time i mean you don't see very many people buying a vehicle these days that lasts for 11 years let alone you know five but mine did it for some odd reason my vehicle decided to do that um another thing so last week was not a good week for the diet stuff um I said I, you know, want to be. I want to be clear on this. I'm gonna fuck up a lot. Um, I'm gonna try not to fuck up as much as I have been. And a good example was uh, yesterday. Um, I, you know, I was home alone, so I was like, man, I want French toast. So instead of making regular French toast, I made my own French toast. I made stuffed French toast balls and fried them. So I did the total opposite of what I planned on doing for the beginning of the year. Uh, I'm trying not to drink soda. 
um, try not to do this stuff. It, it's been hard. It's been hard because I always have it around me. But I'm trying to get that away from me so I can start doing, you know, just eating more stuff. But today, Monday, I started out pretty good. Brussels sprouts and uh, uh, kielbasa. So that's that was my lunch today. Um, I had uh, Arnold Palmer's uh, light and uh, yeah. Um, last night was really interesting for me. Um, <laughs> so I, I live with my brother and, um, he was nice enough to give me a, uh, air mattress, uh, which is, you know, it's nice. Uh, I, I had a posturepedic and I ended up losing it during the, uh, move. Um, but <laughs> last night I was asleep and I wake up at four o'clock in the morning and the, uh, I do apologize. I'm sorry, guys. Um, let me pause that. Um, there we go. Sorry. Sorry about that. But anyways, I woke up and the air mattress was deflated. Now it was sunk into the floor, um, which was not fun. Finally fell back asleep again after I pumped the thing back up. Woke up again at 7. Migraine from hell. Deflated. So I guess last night I must have did something to deflate this thing. Uh, I don't know if it was m me being a fat ass. It probably was, um, but I doubt it. Um, but yeah, that was last night. That's how that went. And for, for some odd reason, the weather right now decides to go from like negative 20 to 60, 70 degrees. And I'm burning up and I don't know how to handle it because... The weather's fucking bipolar for some reason, and I don't understand why. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's really the gist of it. The, so this week, you know, doctor's appointments, uh, yeah, I have to file my taxes this week, hopefully. Get that all taken care of. Uh, finish um, stuff with my lawyer, uh, hopefully this week, as well as hopefully get the license stuff taken care of. And I've probably said that multiple times throughout this video. But, you know, I just, it's a, it's a lot of stuff to take in and for one week. Um, so I'm hoping I do get all this stuff done and sorted out. And hopefully I can get that job and start next week or something. Uh, that would be insanely great. Um, but other than that, um, you know, I'm going back starting to diet. I plan on doing the exercise and stuff once my uh, doctor clears me for that. Um, just where I had the surgery, if I do something wrong where I'm not allowed to lift or overexert myself I could bleed to death and you know that'd be fun uh, waking up well not waking up in a pool of my own blood but yeah um last week sucked this week will be better for the diet stuff um you know I'm starting to think things are going to start coming together a whole lot better that's my opinion um but other than that, I'm going to be making some more videos. Uh, I've been trying different things. You guys may, may have noticed the whole bread and milk thing. They're all kind of connected. It's it's actually a joke around here. I don't know if it's all over the internet, but, you know, during the winter, for some odd reason, you know, when we hear that there's going to be a snow shower, everybody rushes to the grocery store, and usually the first thing to go is bread and milk. So... That's what that's all about. It's kind of an inside joke. I know the first one was kind of well received. Uh, the second one was meh. Um, had a lot of explicit language in it, and I could see where that could be a turn off on it. Um, if you guys want to see me keep on doing skits and stuff, let me know. Uh, I'll also be streaming this week. I'm going to try to take a couple days and do a little bit of streaming. Uh, as well as I want to put out a video where we talk a little bit more about 2016 and the fun stuff and not fun stuff when it came to video games and the industry as a whole. Uh, but other than that, guys, thank you so much for checking this out. Uh, you may be wondering what game I'm playing in the background. That is The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, if you ever get a chance, be sure to check that game out. It's probably one of my favorite indie games of all time. Uh, it's hard. It presents a really good challenge, but it's actually, it feels really good uh, whenever you accomplish something. So, but other than that, guys, thank you so much. If you haven't already, be sure to hit like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch at twitchtv.com forward slash the pan, well, just Panzo 6. Again, 
I love you guys, and I'll talk to you tomorrow, possibly, or later this week. We'll see.